I'm gonna. Seems to be some kind of traffic jam outside my house. Um, Hey, I was asked to do a, uh, oh, Pluto! A few people have asked me to do a review about the camera that I'm using for vlogging or have asked me what camera I'm using for vlogging. <laughs> I'm using the Sony RX100 Mark V for some B-roll. I sometimes use the One DX for, for, for slow motion, but rarely, seeing as this is so much easier to carry around. I mean, it's tiny. It's like, it fits into this little pouch with a battery pack and my cables and it just goes in there and it's great. I, I haven't quite got to the point where I'm putting it onto, onto my belt yet. Like, like oh, that really famous vlogger, the one with the sunglasses. I think his name's Casey Neistat. But yeah, it's, it's, it's such a great camera. I'm not really much of a tech review guy. So this is more of a personal opinion thoughts kind of thing. Please stop barking. For the most part, it's a really great camera. I mean, like I say, it's tiny, it shoots in 4K, it does really great slow motions. For me, it's just this perfect little compact camera. The lens goes from 24 to 70, uh, f 1.8 at 24, all the way to f 16, f11, f11. And for stills is actually really great. I've stopped using my iPhone completely for stills and only use the Sony and then just, I just Wi-Fi the images over to my phone and then I edit using Visco and Lightroom and then put it on Instagram or wherever else I want to put it. And it works a treat. And for filming, it's just a swivel of the top dials and it goes straight into filming mode without any hesitation and just works perfectly. The internal stabilization is really great. I mean, I haven't quite got the steady cam walk yet. I'm, I'm still a bit jittery, but although I don't always shoot in the S-Log, it's just a good option to have it there when I have more time to edit a video. I do shoot on a neutral picture profile that's been tweaked a little bit, so there's less, there's even, I think there's even less contrast and I tone up the saturation. I could probably move it over to shoot completely on uh, S-Log, but the neutral settings work perfectly fine. I'm also quite surprised by its low light capabilities. I've taken into some quite dark situations and it's been really great. With the smaller sensor, obviously it's not gonna be as good as a 1DX like I have for my main kind of filming. But for a small compact camera, it is really just on point. It's never gonna be as good as the A7S Mark II. I haven't got that camera. I've been actually looking at it, but then the A9 came out and now I'm just, I don't know. I don't even know how much longer I'm gonna need my 1DX, but that's a different, that's a, that's a, that's a different story. Generally, a really, really good camera. I'm actually incredibly happy that I bought it. I was reluctant to get a point of shoot because a few years ago when I was looking at them first, I, they just weren't up to scratch to what I wanted. And I, now that the RX100 Mark V is here, it certainly changed my workflow, especially with social media. I'm no longer using my iPhone, like I say, and it's just, the iPhone is great. I used to love using my iPhone for mobile imagery, but the capabilities of having a small compact camera that is just this powerful is uncomparable. Now, there are issues though. There are things that I don't like about this camera, but I'm hoping Sony's gonna fix this later on with a Mark VI or whatever. So the first issue that I have, and it's a major issue that I have, is the fact that when it's filming 4K, it overheats like mad. It is really quite frustrating. The buffer ends at five minutes. After filming five minutes, the camera will stop recording and just has to kind of take a moment to kind of buffer everything and, and process everything. But often or not, when you're filming, it gets so hot, the indicators just come on now. It gets so hot that you don't even reach the five minute mark. It will go at about three and just kaput. Just internal temperatures become too hot for it to function and and sometimes I've had it not save a clip. That was really quite annoying. Every now and again it will, but I, I'm not sure if it's just me that I'm doing something wrong. But yeah, that's my first major issue with it. Second issue, the battery life is quite bad as well. Again, same problem with filming 4K. It just drains and zaps battery. Um, so like I say, I plug it, I take this around with me in this pouch with the cable and it's plugged in 
I'm, I'm plugged in to film at the same time. This actually ties in with the first point. When I'm filming and charging at the same time, this overheats even more so, it seems, and then the battery just doesn't charge anyway. It, it just stays at the same point because you're filming, this, you know. I think it's just too many things happening at once for the camera to deal with. I just wish that the battery was slightly bigger, it had more capacity, or it just, or that filming 4K didn't drain it so quickly. I've got two batteries, but I haven't got the charger that allows you to plug both batteries in at the same time to charge on the main. I have to plug the camera in via USB into the mains to kind of charge it, so I have to take the charge battery out and put the empty one in. It's, it's just, it's just added, it's just, it's just added processes to something that could have been so simple. Sony, give us a charger in the pack instead of making us buy one for forty pounds. I mean, every camera I've ever had has the charger. Just give us the charger. The third issue is definitely the, the microphones. Um, I think it's mainly me, I need to put the... My sister, my, my sister bought me this thing and it, it goes on top of the, the mic, but it's only one and it's too big for the area. I mean, I use, my, I use, the, I use the viewfinder to take stills. I don't really use the flash, but the microphone is right next to the viewfinder, like right next to it. So I wouldn't be able to stick this thing on without being in the way of the viewfinder popping up. Put the mics at the same position on one side and just leave it at that. I am gonna put a wind stopper thing onto the mic though because it's quite annoying the wind. The three issues with this camera are the same issues that a lot of other people have stated. I'm pretty sure Sony are going to do something about it. But yeah, for me, this camera is fantastic. Like I say, it goes with me everywhere, every day. And, and it's been a great addition to my bag. In fact, it's the only camera I take out these days. The best camera you have is the camera you have with you all the time. And this Sony RX100 Mark V is definitely that one. Just to say, this was not a paid endorsement by Sony. Clearly, uh, I'm just a regular bystander guy who buys cameras and takes photos. Um, it was just my thoughts more than anything else. Anyway, this is nearly exported. I need to rush off to Leicester and pick up my friend Sue. I'm going to help her look for a bike. She wants to buy a bike for commuting and fitness. More people on bikes is a good thing. I need to get back on the bike. I was going to get on this today. But it is blowing a hoolie and it is grey and it's not like the weather from yesterday. Shame really. Um, on we go. I'm late, I'm always late. Where is she? Oh, yeah, these are all the women's bikes that they have. Alright. Oh, <laughs> That's it. And everything else. Never really that many. Anyway, I'm here. I'm an Evan Cycles. This is Sue. Um, she came with me to Wales. But um, I'm, I'm late, so. She's already done the thing that she was here for. So I didn't even need to help her. I was, I was coming for moral support and looking for bikes for her. <laughs> Cannondale's are so cute. Cannondale's are beautiful. I want a Cannondale. Yeah. I'm gonna keep looking around. So nice. Now that I've seen a Cannondale, I want, yeah. to buy, I want to buy another bike. You should buy a bike. Thank you. You're Starbucks cold brew review. It's okay. It's not the best though. Quick coffee, now we're gonna find some food in Leicester. <laughs> Don't put that in. That is so going in. Marco and Carl will give you a full review at the end. <laughs> Wings! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's no fun in the it's a topless burger. <laughs> There's no top to it. <laughs> the 
top arrived. <laughs> they came separately. Strange. <laughs> Marco and Carl, it's called. It was pretty decent. Not too bad. Shall we go this way? Shall we go the long way? I'm gonna burn off some of this, uh, burn off the burger that I just ate. The burger was massive. Students everywhere in Leicester. What is going on, Leicester? This car that's coming behind me is incredibly loud, as you can hear. Yep. Good car. I need to get a uh, gorilla pod for this because I keep I'm quite shaky as I walk, aren't I? Yeah. Um, really good night. Just chatting to Sue about being a creative and how fucking hard it is. Um, she's got a uh, she's got an event happening on the 21st of May in Leicester. So if you're a Leicester person, or if you're based around the area, come down. If you're a photographer, especially, come down. I'll put a link into the I'll put a link in the description below. So you can check it out. Uh, now we're gonna, well I'm heading back to my car and then going home to feed the dog. What a, what a great life I'll leave, eh? So uh, tomorrow is the tour series. It's the first round of the 2017 tour series. The tour series, for those that don't know, is a, it's a one hour criterion race around different cities in the UK. Tomorrow, the first round begins in Redditch, which is a which is a circuit that I know quite well. The majority of the riders know very well. It's featured in the tour series four years in a row, I think. I think four. They've done it a lot. I've kept, I've kept this one. I'm not supposed to. Um, everyone at Sweet Spot, uh, they're all pretty sound, so I kept this one because of uh, the number 13. 13 is my birthday, it's also. Oh, I don't want to call it my lucky number, but it's just a number I always go to if I'm having to pick things out. I'm personally quite a big fan of the tour series. For photography, it's actually quite a lot of fun. As a photographer, with a green bib, only green bibs are allowed to do this, but with a green bib, we're allowed to be on the other side of the barriers at any given time during the race. We just gotta be sensible not to be on the outside of a corner where they're turning. You know, you just you just gotta use some common sense when you're when you get given this kind of responsibility. I actually quite enjoy it. It's you get the opportunity to get quite close to the riders as they're racing and it's fast, it's hectic. Last year JLT Condor pretty much dominated the entire series. I think Moldy won like six or something. Six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six. Moldy won six times. So yeah, hoping for the same this year. And like I say, I quite enjoy the tour series. It's just, it's got, it's a lot of fun to photograph these sometimes. I'll put a link in the description below for anyone that wants to attend. This year there are 10 rounds over three weeks. They're all over this country, all the way up to Aberdeen this year. Yeah, Aberdeen, it's quite far. I'm not doing that one. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. I've got a bit more work to do, I'm going to finish packing for tomorrow. It's not a lot to do actually. Um, I'm going to edit this vlog. I want to edit it tonight before I go to work tomorrow because otherwise I'd edit late, I'd miss a day of uploads and I don't want to repeat a tour to Yorkshire because it was a bit messy and anyway. Today was another productive day. Got a lot of things done, got to catch up with a friend and very motivated to get on with things. So positive, positive vibes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.